Hey guys, it's Ariva and I'm back with another tutorial. So today I'm going to be comparing the long and short air wrap barrels for you guys. I've been getting tons of requests for this video and I'm finally putting it together. So I'm very curious to see if it's a little bit more effective, if it's faster, if it's worth purchasing. So I'm going to test it out for you guys and I'm going to be using it for the very first time today. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys all of the products that I use when I'm using my air wrap, uh, just so you guys have a better idea of how I get my curls to last because that's a question that I've been getting quite a bit um, so first and foremost before I style my hair with any kind of heat um, I like to go in with some kind of thermal protector and because my hair is curly and frizzy I usually go for a cream based thermal protector um, so I'm using defy damage from Joyco and so I'll just usually just take a couple um, of pumps of that and because it's a cream based thermal protector it also works as a detangler uh, which is really great so i'm just going to kind of utilize all of the moisture in this cream based product and quickly detangle my hair start at the bottom and work my way up so now you want to go in with some kind of styling product that's going to give you hold in your style i'm going in with full frame from Redken, and i like using this mousse because it gives me just the right amount of hold without getting like too sticky or stiff and i usually tend to be quite a bit um generous with my mousse and I just kind of scoop it into my fingers and then just kind of work it through my hair, make sure I get it everywhere and kind of put it in on the other side. So now that we have our product in, we are ready to style. So when I'm styling my hair today, I'm going to be using the 40 millimeter barrels, which are their thicker barrels. And I'm going to be using the longer ones on the right side and the shorter ones on the left side. So before we get started, you always want to pre-style your hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pop on my pre-styling hairbrush and I'm gonna blast it on uh, on full blast, high heat, high air, because my hair is so thick. And when we're pre-styling it, we're basically gonna be drying our roots um, and a little bit into our mids and you wanna retain almost all of the moisture on your ends for this because this is a wet to dry styler. It works best when your hair is damp. So that should be good. And now I'm gonna quickly pop this off so I just wanna kind of jump right into it and try out these longer barrels. So we're gonna use these first. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and clip this side away and I'm gonna be starting from the bottom and then I'll work my way up. We're just gonna pop this on. So I'm gonna be starting with the barrel that curls forward first because when my hair is down at the end, I like these bottom pieces to kind of sit on my shoulder and I like the top pieces to kind of sit away. So I like to stick to one inch sections and we're gonna hold our hair out six inches from the bottom. And because I'm curling my hair forward, we're gonna put the barrel in the front here. And if I was curling back, I would put it in the back. So we're just gonna go ahead and turn it on. We're gonna let it grab. As soon as it kind of grabs, we're just gonna rotate it all the way to the top. And you can kind of adjust it by rolling it in and out, just so you get some tension. It should have a pretty solid grip on there. So now I'm just gonna press the cool shot and I'm gonna cool it down for 10 seconds. I'm just gonna go ahead and turn it off. So we have this beautiful curl happening and we're just gonna repeat the same thing on this section. And at this point, if you find your hair um, doesn't hold the curls really well or you just want it to last a little bit longer, right now is the time you wanna spritz some hairspray and you don't wanna do it right up against the section. Be about a foot away from the sections and you just wanna spritz it lightly and just kind of let that set. And we're just gonna keep taking out rows and working our way up. So because I did that section all forward, I'm gonna do this whole row backward. So I'm just gonna quickly pop off the barrel. I'm gonna switch it for the one that goes back. And right off the bat, using these longer barrels, I already feel like I have a lot more control of my sections while I'm styling my hair. And now we're just gonna release. So you'll find if you guys keep your sections nice and kind of clean, you actually fly through this pretty quickly. I also feel like I'm flying through my sections a lot more quicker. I've been using the shorter barrels for quite a few years now, and I definitely notice a difference in how quickly I'm making my way through with these longer barrels. So now that that row is done, I'm gonna give it a quick spritz of hairspray. So this next row is gonna be curled forward. 
And another reason I like clipping these away is because you want to preserve the moisture in these sections. If you leave it kind of hanging down while you're curling um, your other piece, it'll start to dry out your wet hair. And because this is a wet to dry styler, it styles your hair best on damp hair. So you want to preserve that moisture. I've also learned that it really, really helps to give each section a spritz of hairspray. It really helps the style last quite a bit longer. Okay, so now we're gonna be doing uh, this last section on my right side with the long barrels. So I'm gonna quickly just pop off the barrel going forward and we're gonna do everything back in this section. So once you've made your way to the top, you wanna make sure that this section is styled back. It's just a little bit more flattering once the entire style is done. This side is all complete. And as usual, I'm just gonna leave it alone. I'm not gonna run my fingers through it just yet. So now on this side, we're gonna go ahead with the original uh, 40 millimeter barrels, and these are the shorter barrels. And we're just gonna do the same exact thing that we did on this side. We're gonna start at the bottom and work our way up, and we're gonna alternate each row forward and backwards, uh, starting with the bottom row going forward. So because this um, area is completely styled, I wanna be very cautious when I'm um, tying up this wet hair. I don't want it to kind of lean over to the side, so I'm just kind of rolling it into a bun and just making sure that it's not gonna to be touching any of my styled hair. And you wanna keep your styled hair forward on this shoulder um, so it doesn't mix with any of the wet hair. So we're gonna utilize our shoulder once again and I'm gonna put the damp piece on the back. We're just gonna go ahead and start curling. So these shorter barrels are the ones that I'm used to styling my hair with. And as you can see, I'm making my way through my, the sections in the same manner. I find that if I cup the section and spray it, it helps with the curl last quite a bit longer. Just slide the section out from the bottom, cup it in my hand and give it a quick spritz of hairspray before I release. All right, so now we're gonna pop off this barrel and pop on our barrel to go forward. Now that I've used the longer barrel, I am noticing that it is taking a few seconds longer to dry my hair on the shorter barrel because it is being compact in a smaller space. So now we're gonna do our final piece. Hi. <laughs> go brush your hair, your hair looks wild. No, I don't. <laughs> And again, for this final section, I'm going to be curling everything back away from my face, cupping the section and giving it a quick spritz of hairspray. And you guys can see, as I'm wrapping the section on the shorter barrel, you see how my ends kind of drop down out of the barrel. I have to usually tuck them back in, which is not a big deal, uh, but that is something that I don't have to do with the longer barrels. That's something that I'm noticing more so in the areas where I have longer layers. When I'm rocking the air wrap back and forth, I have to continuously push the ends back up into the barrel. Um, so it's kind of nice that I don't have to do that with the longer barrels. Okay, so we are completely done styling our hair. So I did use 40 millimeter barrels on both sides, which are equal in width. So I didn't really expect too much of a difference in the way that my hair would look on either side but I did expect a bit of a difference in my experience of styling my hair with the longer barrel, and there were lots of differences. So one of the main differences that I noticed in the longer barrel versus the shorter barrel is that my hair styled quite a bit quicker with the longer barrel. I think it's because my hair had um, more space to kind of spread out, so it was drying a little bit faster, whereas on the shorter barrel, my hair was wrapped almost on top of each other as it was being rolled. Um, so the air took a, a few seconds longer to kind of make its way through all of the layers. So I think that's maybe why my hair dried faster using the longer barrel. I also found like little things like when I wrap my hair with the shorter barrel, I usually have to sometimes push my ends um, back into it or sometimes the top will kind of pop out and I'll have to kind of push that back in but once I do push the section kind of back in and compact it in this um, barrel 
it does eventually style and as you can see it gives me the same result as the longer barrel uh, but I just didn't have to do that with the longer barrel it spread out evenly and it just dried and I didn't have to tuck the ends or the top into the barrel so I did style this uh, section first so the curls have dropped a little bit more on this side versus this side uh, these are just like freshly done with uh, just a few seconds ago um, but the curls could possibly be a little bit tighter using um, the shorter barrel but I don't notice like a dramatic difference in the curls I think I'll find out once it kind of drops a little bit more on this side which it usually does but overall I think just because there isn't much of a dramatic difference in the finishing and it was quite a bit faster for me to style my hair with a longer barrel. I will most likely probably stick to my longer barrels now, uh, now that I've experienced them. Now that my hair's kind of cooled off and it's set, I'm gonna go ahead and just very quickly finish it off. So I'm going in L'Oreal Paris a Dream Length Serum and I'm just using a little bit, kind of scrunch it into the ends. And you don't want to shake your hair out aggressively or you'll just ruin all of your styling. So this does last me pretty much all week. That is a question that I get asked all the time. Um, it's just as it, the curls and the style kind of progresses throughout the week, it ends up looking more like a blowout by the end of the week as opposed to freshly uh, curled hair. All right, guys, as always, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any other questions about the air wrap or the longer or shorter barrels, feel free to leave them down below in the comments and I will get back to you guys. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.